today we're at uh, Nymph Falls, just outside of uh, Courtney, and uh, it's nine o'clock, cold morning, gloves and, and toque, and I'm the only one here. <laughs> I'm actually amazed. So there's nobody in the in the parking lot. So that's interesting. So it's about a 10 minute walk down to the waterfalls. So uh, let's head down. So a lot of things to shoot here at Nymph Falls. It's not just uh, the falls themselves. The wooded area is uh, quite nice as well. The park actually runs from uh, well, Nymph Falls all the way up to the uh, start of Comox Lake. So it's quite a walk to uh, Comox Lake, but it's certainly, uh, you're taking a day for photography, it's certainly a good time to go and uh, take some pictures. Right now the sun is just peeking through the trees. Let's see if I spin around. And you can see a little bit of the sun coming behind that tree there. So, uh, like I said, the wood area has got a lot of potential as well. But uh, I have a shot in my mind that I want to take. So let's uh, kind of get going. So, like I said, I already had a picture in my mind. And the picture in my mind is actually, uh, see if I can get it over here. This tree behind me, tree hanging off the rocks, uh, just behind me here to my left, my right, your left. Um, and I wanted to see if I could uh, actually do a panoramic. So if I just uh, take a break here, I'll switch to the other way and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So the trees here, nice rocks in front of me, and the river coming down. So I'm trying to. Uh, do an actual panoramic of this area. So I thought it would be kind of kind of nice, but I want the uh, main focal point to be again slowly here to be this tree, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm having a little trouble with light, as you notice. The sky is probably blown out in the video. It's uh, really bright out. It's got some clouds. It's blue. And then the water down at this level is uh, very dark. So what I'm trying to do is even out the exposure between the two areas, and I'm using uh, neutral density filters. So I put those on front. And I'm also putting on a polarizer to get some of the reflections off the rocks. So that's uh, one of the things you want to use as well, because you get a lot of reflections, and you'll see hot spots on the rocks if you're not careful. So therefore, I use a polarizer. So um, I'm hoping it'll turn out. We'll uh, we'll see. I got a couple more hours to spend here. There's still nobody here, which is awesome. So we'll see how the light changes over the next couple of hours. <laughs> 